Hello Gators, this is Miss Cynthia. I wanted to share my ornament that I made. I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make it. So let's get started. The most important items that you need for this craft are one, toilet paper roll, red acrylic paint, a paintbrush, some tacky glue, some string, and some scissors, and that's it. One of the decorations that you can use is tissue paper crumbled up, and you can make little tiny circular balls, or you can be very fancy like me and go to Dollar Tree and just remove three of the little balls after you purchase it, um, and you can use that as a decoration. And here's the final. It's so cute, and it's super easy to make. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first step is for you to get your toilet paper roll and you're gonna to need to completely paint the outside. Once the outside is semi-dry, then you can go ahead and paint the inside. But make sure that the outside is nice and painted and dry before we continue on the next step. Once your paper toilet roll is completely dry inside and out, you are gonna be able to cut it. The, in order for this ornament to work correctly, we need you to cut nine strips. The easiest way to do it is just to measure the width of your pinky, and you can just make a line with a pencil, or you can just estimate it. I'm just gonna go ahead and estimate. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flatten out really flat, as flat as you can. Um, if if it's not perfect, don't worry about it because we're gonna go ahead and puff it up again to make the ornament. There you go. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and estimate the size of my pinky and I'm gonna cut nine, nine pieces, just like this. Just like this, nine pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, so once you have your pieces cut, make sure that you separate three for the back part of it. And then you're going to keep, let's see, what's nine minus three? Six. Good job. So you're going to get your six little pieces, slivers. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and glue them together. And the way that we're going to glue them together is we're going to glue them all halfway. So just like that, we're going to glue them together. And then once they're all glued together, we're going to go ahead and puff them up just like this. Okay? So it doesn't have to be perfect as long as the, the middle and the edges are glued together. And then they're going to make this beautiful little accordion. All right? So let's get started gluing those little pieces. All right. I'm working on my last one. So I'm going to put tacky glue on my last piece. There we go. And once my piece is all together, I'm gonna grab my second uh, part of this ornament, which is the three pieces, remember I told you? And I'm gonna go ahead and glue them together as well, just like this. So once they look nice and flat. What we're going to do is we're going to puff these babies up just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our ornament that's been, that has already been glued. And we are going to go ahead and fix it. So we're going to go ahead and make little points on every corner of your poinsettia ornament. 
make it nice and pretty and puffy and beautiful just like that and if you look if there's certain pieces like there's there's a little piece that's missing paint I didn't paint really well all I can do is just grab my paintbrush and just go over those little areas another thing that you might want to do is paint this part here because when you cut it you can see a little bit of the cardboard well, that's okay it looks good all right so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to join these together these the the part that has three little leaves on it it's going to go in the back so it's going to go in the back and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check to see where is the best place and what my suggestion is um, that you place it uh, for it to be Not to look exactly like the other pieces, but just kind of move it around like right there would be perfect. Well, maybe like right there. And then you need to center it. Okay, just right there. See how cute that looks? And a way that you can tie them together is, like I said, with string. Um, there's a version that asks you to get um, flower wire, and I think that's too much. So it's up to you what you wanna do. I think I'm gonna use string just to tie it together. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece of string and I'm just gonna tie them together. And then after I'm done tying them together, I'm gonna cut another piece of string uh, to make it like a little tie, a little hanging tie. And it doesn't have to look perfect. It's, it's just a fun craft that you can do with you and your family. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tie them together. And then I'm going to put a little knot on it and tie it. And then I'm putting a little knot. And then I'm going to use my scissors to trim it extra extra string. Careful with your fingers. Safety first. There you go. And then once you're done, look how cute it's going to look. So now we're going to go ahead and put some extra glue. And you can move it around if you need to. I'm going to put some tacky glue there in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and put the little white balls there. And like I said, you can use tissue paper and you can glue that right there. There you go, there's your first one. So go ahead and pre repeat that with the two other ones. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our um, string to hang it up. Be right back. All right, I'm done gluing on my little tiny puffy balls. And guess what? I went ahead and I tied a string. And this is very easy to do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and cut a string and you're going to tie the end okay and then once you tie the end you're going to pick the side that you want facing up and you're going to go ahead and feed it just like this and then you're going to feed it through that little loop there it is there is your poinsettia i think it looks really cute I love it. All right, guys. Well, thank you for sharing this time with me. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I apologize if it was too quick, if I didn't show enough of my of the craft. Thank you so much. Don't forget to have a wonderful holiday and have a great day. Take care.